Well, good morning, folks. Hey, the old fisherman back with you. We on Lake Murray. And uh, today, we're going to try the Bobby Gordon a little bit on the long rod. I'm going to use the crystal color, crystal lamb, I believe it is, Bobby Gordon right off the bat. A little lead above and a 30-second head. I'm going to see if we can find some crappies out here and catch them with the long rod. We got four-pound test. Uh, Floor carbon line. And we're gonna see what we can do. Loving some life here on Lake Murray today. We're gonna get a little brush up here. Let's see if there's any fish on it. They ain't gonna be fast. The first thing you gotta do is get these fish used to you fishing on them. Right there they are, right there. They might not touch this jig, I don't know. Are they some around here? And that's what we want to see. So far they ain't biting. They ain't touching that jig, got it right in them too. This ain't biting. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna position this boat up here where the fish are. And we're just gonna sit there and I'm gonna put some metals out. I'm give jig a little bit of chance, then we're gonna put some jigs uh, metals out. So far they ain't hitting this jig. They ain't touching it. I don't know what it is about they ain't hitting the Bobby Golden anymore. It's almost you got to have metals to catch these fish. And then you got to sit here. I don't know. Don't make sense, that's the way it is. They looking at it, they ain't taking it. So, that is not a good sign for a jig. And it could have been somebody fished here yesterday, all day. Yeah, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to adjust we might have to put a a metal on this crappy hook but they ain't wanting to bite right now I'm gonna get up here and I'm, it ain't enough wind for spot lock that's the only problem and what I'm gonna do is get the metals out Put spot lock up. They will not allow you to throw on them. They see that jig, they run. They're right out here in front of the boat, but I guarantee you, I, I got to throw it past them, bring it up to them. They running. See them running? They running from the jig coming down. I think the only way you're gonna catch these fish is they have it sitting there when they come back by. Look at them going to the bottom, a whole school of them. They're not touching this jig. They're not touching it. Unless they'll hit down. But they ain't biting. I, they, there's one. Well, I'll be darn. They did catch one. How about that, folks? Huh? How about that? We got one on the jig. A good one, too. Look at him go. Look at him take off. That's a good one. Oh my. First crap of the day on a Bobby Garland. Pound and a quarter. This is what we got. Right here. Right here. Right now. Look at that. Look at that. Bobby Garland. Pound. Maybe not a pound and a quarter. But he hit it. On the G. Beautiful sight right there, folks. Beautiful sight. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put out a couple of metal rods and, and work this jig at the same time. I'd love to catch me 20 like that. And we'd have something there. All right, tell you what let's do. 
Dig out our metal rods. We got a we got a mess up here. I'm gonna dig out at least one metal rod. Get these other rods out of my way. Ain't none left, don't look like. That ain't a bad one. Let's try it. Alright. Got to get back up here. Where the fish were. See if we can find them again. Alright, let's put a let's put him out, see what happens. We ain't got to go too deep, I don't think. Get a hold of us here, whether I get tying us in or not, we catch him. There you go. That's a crappy. That's a crappy. Finally come up and took it. Nice one too. Nice one. I was pick him up and put him in the boat. Look at that. Nice crappy. Kind you read about. And crappy. Mac Sam. Look at that. Beautiful crappy. I almost got my thing tied before he took it. He had a bigger metal, so maybe it sits there long enough. We'll catch him on the metal. <laughs> Put it back out there. So we get another. Right out there. He bumped it, they bumping it, but they ain't taking it. They don't want the color. They ain't in a feed. And they ain't hitting the middle because it's too big. We might put the gulp alive on that, I don't know. I'm trying to get a jig out the box. Probably a striper. If any of stripers a slab crappy. It's a big old crappy. Them come took that thing. About took my rod. Look at that water crap. Hmm. Look at that water crap. Look at that. He about took my rod out of the lake. Man alive. Look at that. I'm trying to hunt a jig that bite, and I catch one on a money. Y'all see him? Look at that. Huh? Beautiful crappy. Nothing wrong with him. This don't bite early. They right out there too, buddy. They right out here in front of us. We ought to be getting a bite. There you go. Look at that. Huh? Hey, yeah. We put that dog on another color. It's got some purples and blues in it. Big old crap and then nailed it. Oh, my. Oh, my. Bigger. I'm talking bigger. On that jig. Look at that. Nice. One. Pound or better. Pound or better. Dog on 
that lot done, done left me. I haven't fished Bobby Golden in a while. They still bite them. We got to go back to fish. Uh oh, got blood coming there. All right, folks. Pull into another spot. We got some fish out here. Had one on. We just had one on. We we changed over. We got looking for some jigs, and we found some hair jigs I didn't know I had, and I found some uh, uh, crystal Bobby Garland. And I think they're going to hit that crystal. There he is. There he is. Finally got one on G. Small crappy. <coughs> they're smaller than the ones over at the other place. A lot smaller. Cool back. Let's try it again. Got nothing. Look at that. <laughs> Catch them on the jig. <laughs> they ain't big though. Brush fire crap has come out. We're probably end up throwing every one of these back. That's when ran that cold water. They, they don't die in that thing. I take them home, put them on the table, they're still living. <laughs> so <clears throat> we got the boat in position now we can fish them on spot lock. Got one. That's a good one. That's a big old crappy right there. And that's a big one. Slab boo sun. What? He wasn't but a few foot deep. Net him. Let's net him. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Slab boo kind you read about in crappy magazine look at that beautiful crappy a beautiful crappy on a mother huh on a mother oh. <clears throat> I mean we didn't have that thing eight foot deep because that's where the brush is the water's deeper but the brush shallow All right, folks, we uh, changed around and uh, we put out our perch rig and we caught us a big old jumbo magnum. We come out here in the middle, let's see if we can stir up some white perch. It's a windy day, ought to be perfect for perch fishing. I'm gonna beat the boat and stir them up in 37 foot of water right here now. We're gonna try it. Charlie Brewers. There he goes. <laughs> Couple down there. And they gonna hit Charlie Brewers now. Medium sized perk. We're using a uh Oh, spitting up shad, that's good. We're using a uh, two and an eighth inch swimming metal right now, two different colors. On some big heads, quarter ounce heads. I'll be a good first day. Wind blowing like this, sun shining after a front come through, they ought to bite. That'll be either late. If late Monticello got full water today, they'll be biting. Late Murray, ain't gonna have no full water, water stays constant drop them. but uh, hey they bite I can tell you that they bite they eating it up we're gonna try to, uh oh one just got off we're gonna try to catch him I love catching them on these Charlie Brewers quick quick action 
throw it down to the bottom what a big girl's like perfect perch today barely can see a couple on the bottom right there they're stirring up more and more though they're bringing more in it look like it might be some stripers that come in here probably will be they get quite to the bottom right there they stir it up get them into a feed might wax them they down there they hitting but they ain't taking it there he is when I jerked to get away from one nailed it that's a nice one right there that's a good one what that's a good one got to be a striper if it ain't that's a big perch stripers two stripers that's what i figured i got the tap in the boat and they come in dad blame rascals they love charlie brewers too brother ain't no doubt about it that striper that size right there love charlie brewers they would kill them They got to be 21 inches right now though, so we can't keep them. That's good eating size, but you can't keep them. Somebody on my show asked me, I must not like stripers. I love stripers, especially that size right there. They eat good as perch, flail. You can't keep them. Which I think is a stupid law. They got 10 zillion in here. down there and I think most of them strap want to catch a perch only really got to go with the gup alive or the metals them, them stripers don't hit that gup alive that good there he goes there he goes you gotta love it when they swarm it that's a fairly good perch. I wanted to catch crappers. Them crappers want to aggravate me. I'll go fish something else. I'll do that in a minute. The last couple of days, them crappers ain't acting right. They'll go back if their belly ain't up in the throat. Somewhere out here's a bunch of them biting, I guarantee you on that. There you go, Misty. There he goes. They love that gup. That's a nice one. I love catching them on this doggone new rod I got. That's probably a striper. <laughs> no, it ain't. It's a huge perch on that darn gup metal, one inch. Look at the size of that perch. That, my friend, is a monocella monster, but he's in Lake Murray. There he goes. Oh, he hit it. Oh, he nailed it. 
Hey, that joker hit hard, son. What? We got a, a little uh, TFO rod here. That's a big perch, too. Got him on that, that big gup. Two and a half inch gup. Only thing I don't like about them is they, they really soft. They really soft. They, they don't last long at all. The ones in the pack, I think if you get the, the two and a half inch in the jar, they tougher. We got them under us. Matter of catching them. There he goes. He took it. I love it when they grab it and hang down on it like a real metal. That's a good one too. Oh my, big old perch. Look at the size there on that one inch. Look at that, beautiful perch. Perfect conditions for this kind of fishing. Got the breeze blowing. And I'm sure they they eating all over the lake today. If you get where the perch are. Already got one, had one on there. He's on it now. Look at that. Gone. They killing it. Oh my. They killing it. Big ones too. I mean big ones. Look at that. Two at a time. Two jumbos, what I mean, big ones. Hey, day. Remember, can you read about Impact Magazine? Oh, have mercy. Big ones. Put it back down to the bottom with a big girl's line. They're bumping. They ain't taking. That's amazing. There you go. That nailed it. That one nailed it. Good one too. Real good one. Real good one. Look at that white perk. My goodness. Ah, calm down, boy. Look at that. Bigger. Might be a strap. No, it ain't. It's a huge perch. My goodness. Now, them big perch right there, folks. Them big ones. There you go. There you go. Them some pretty good ones in there, too. They just ain't wanting to bite. I could ease it up. Now that one ain't as big, I don't believe. Ain't quite as big. And I hitting that one inch as good as this big one. Long way down there, it's 44 foot. Right here. Right 
shot a brew back at him and said, yeah, you did. Just chase him. They ain't taking this like they won't ought to be. There he goes. There he goes. That's a good one right there. Oh my. That's a jumbo. Got him on the one inch. Jumbo Magnum. Big old good one. Well, that wind blowing now, here. She blowing. Put it back out. fish right there. There he goes. There he goes. Oh my. Pulling on this little rod. Yeah. Fun to catch him on this rod. Look at that. Nice perch. Nice perch. Can you read about and where? Perch magazine. Plenty of them coming through. That whole fish finder just steady getting it. I'm fading out right in here. I don't want wrong with my fish finder. This is right up under the boat right here. It's kind of fading out. I don't know if I got a problem or what. I still can see them though. Catch them on metals. That 37 foot caught some, and I seen the gulls dive, and I moved over here and dropped in a little hole, and they hit 44 foot. Take a little bit longer to get down. There he goes. But they nailing it. I tell you that they killing it. Big, there now we get small. I don't want small. We want big ones. Up right back down. There you go. There he goes. That's a good one. What? That's a slab right there, buddy. Look at that. Got to love it. Back out. Let's see if it makes a difference with a mud on top. We're gonna put a mud out there. They don't about chew this thing here up. I'm gonna put a mud, they dying anyhow. See if we can catch them on them. Just aggravating, baiting. Fate and bump it. I think Charlie Blue stirs them up. Something swimming up through the area. That's what I think. 
it makes them go to bite. Catch a few on this, they quit this, we'll go back to the other stuff. That darn stripers is what it is. That's the bad thing about it. Stripers love Charlie Brook. Stay out there. I think most of them are stripers. That's why they wouldn't hit that other stuff. That might be a perch. Charlie. Oh yeah, that's a perch. Oh, one ain't no big one. Go back out. Killing Charlie Brewer now. Stirring them up. Stirring the pot. That's a good one right there. It might be a striper. <laughs> yep. Dead blame striper, both of them. Killing told Charlie Brewer. Let me tell you. Perch. Nice one too, buddy. That's a good perch right there. Perch magazine perch. Had him right now. They're chasing him, but they ain't coming up with that. They down there again right now. Now I bet you if I put that gut alive back down there, I'll catch him on it again. There he goes. Charlie Brewer got him that time. medium size. I guess I can keep him. Get back out there, Charlie. Rolls up. There you go. Finally took it. I'm going to stir it up here a little bit. Man, it's cold as the devil. 
temperature doesn't drop 10 degrees since this morning. And he ain't taking this. They're looking at it. Gone. Gone. There he is. Finally come got it. Little one. Look at she had coming out of the mouth. There he goes. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh my. Ah, big one. Unless it's a striper. That's a perch. It got to be two. Whatever it is, nice. One. Two perch. No, striper and a perch. A striper and a perch. That's what it is. Way pulling, sir. Calm down, boy. Calm down. Get out of here. Get out of here. Fairly nice perch, sir. Boy, they swarming all around that thing down there. Don't want to take it. You gotta keep messing with them. I mean, he's just swarming all around it. Oh, why they ain't taking that big one, brother? But they ain't. Make them bite it. Mid size, they ain't no whopper. They ain't big ones like they was at first. There you go. That's a good one. That's a good one. Big old perch. That's the kind we're looking for right there. Jumbos, super dogs, magnums, any kind of thing you want to talk, call it. Look at that. Ain't no big one, but there he goes. I ain't too bad. He ain't bad at all. Yeah, spit a shed up on my conzo yonder. Look at yonder. Look at this. That right there's good bait, folks. <clears throat> We got to go in a minute. It's after lunch. They ain't taking it. They all around. There he goes. Finally hit. Nice one too. Pretty good one. Took that little jig.
That's all that time. Good and do. They just don't want it. Look at that. Nice perch. They just don't want it. We own some fish. They just ain't bite. He's already got that shad, folks. Already got that shad. As soon as it got down, they took it. See that? He wanted that shad now. He swallowed him to his guzzle. We still got our shad. I'll catch another one on him. We can find another shed in the in the box. There he goes. They killed him shed, buddy. That's a good fish. I'll stick a big metal on that see if they'll take it. That's a nice. Oh, he hit that little gut. Yeah, it hit the shed.
I'm gonna try to hold him up. God, no. Look, look what I Huh? Oh my God, what a fish. Huh? He's a monster. 